Hello, and welcome to the highlights preview for our Rare Books Auction 6048, open for bidding online now and closing on Heritage Live and in Beverly Hills on Thursday, October 14th. This first series of highlights will go under the auctioneer's hammer in session one of our auction, beginning at 1 p.m. Pacific time. The first item we'd like to show you today is Lot 36012, Edward S. Curtis's monumental work comprising Portfolio One of the North American Indian. This stunning work contains all 39 large format photogravures, including the legendary image titled The Vanishing Race, all loose as issued in the original three-quarter Morocco portfolio. One of the plates can be seen on the back cover of our printed catalog. Secondly, we have a fantastic grouping of Federalist items, starting with Lot 36018, an authentic newspaper printing of Federalist Paper Number 29, titled Concerning the Militia, which, interestingly, is numbered 35 in this January 11, 1788 edition of the New York Packet. On the front page, you can also see an advertisement for the first edition of the Federalist, published the same year by McLean. And speaking of McLean's first edition of the Federalist, Lot 36019 is just that, a 1788 first edition of the Federalist, with both volumes bound in one in contemporary sheep. The most interesting aspect of this copy is that it was once owned by Jonathan Dayton, Revolutionary War Officer, youngest signer of the Constitution, and namesake of Dayton, Ohio. The book has single initials H, M, and J in Dayton's unmistakable hand throughout the book to identify the various authors of the letters, with an inscription on the front free end paper from the subsequent owner identifying Dayton as the person from whom it was purchased. This book will soon be on display in our New York office at Park Avenue and 57th Street, and we encourage you to view it there if you are interested. The next lot, 36020, is also a first edition, specifically of Volume 2 of The Federalist. What is notable about this copy is its condition. It is uncut, unopened, in the original pale gray-green paper boards, and with the number 2 still bright on the spine as issued. Really the best copy of this monumental work we've encountered thus far, and it will also be available shortly for inspection in our New York office. In addition to these highlights, we have a large collection of books relating to military history. Lot 36061 is one of the best examples. A first edition of Charles Stedman's 1794, The History of the Origin, Progress, and Termination of the American War. The book is notable for being, according to Sabin, the best contemporary account of the revolution written from the British side. Plus, there is also a large selection of military history in session three on Friday, October 15th. Further, we're proud to present a hearty selection of first editions printed by the Doves Press in the original vellum bindings also by Doves, such as lot 36105, Goethe's Faust in two volumes. Additionally, we have two books from the Kelmscott Press, a large assortment of Chalanade Press books, over 20 books with forage paintings, and more. We also have a limited edition of Eric Gill's Four Gospels, published by the Golden Cockerel Press, Lot 36113, which is currently on display in our New York office. We are also very excited about the next item, Lot 36184, the extraordinarily rare inventory of the Russian crown jewels titled Russia's Treasure of Diamonds and Precious Stones with the complete set of 100 folio sized phototype plates. The plates are simply gorgeous and were the result of work by among others A.E. Fersman and Alexander Fabergé, son of court jeweler Karl Fabergé. A wonderful example of a rare work made so because the Bolshevik government recalled and destroyed all printed copies they could find, making the present copy one of the few surviving, especially in English. The current auction is a gold mine for collectors of natural history prints, such as the current example, Lot 36206, the Havel edition of Audubon's Brown Thrasher, State Bird of Georgia. It is a lively hand-colored aquatint engraving one of many lovely natural history prints from Audubon, Gould, and others in this auction. In fact, one of the foundational works of natural history, especially in America, is Mark Catsby's Natural History of Carolina, Florida, and the Bahama Islands. It is lot 36220 in this auction, an early German edition with parallel text in Latin and German from 1777 
that includes 109 full-page, brightly hand-colored plates depicting fish, reptiles, insects, plants, and mammals Catsby encountered in his voyages to the Carolinas, Florida, and the Bahamas. Hunt called this work most famous color plate book of American plant and animal life and a fundamental and original work for the study of American species. A fundamental and original work in the field of science can be found at Lot 36247, which presents first printings of three of the four Annos Mirabilis papers published by Albert Einstein in 1905. The fourth paper is offered separately as Lot 36248. The three papers in Lot 36247 comprise Einstein's work on the photoelectric effect, the kinetic theory of heat, and the great physicist's first statement on the special theory of relativity. We also have rare works by Einstein's intellectual forefather, Sir Isaac Newton. Lot 36253 is a second edition of Newton's Principia, generally considered the greatest work in the history of science. The present copy was published in 1713, the second edition after the 1687 first edition, and the first published by Newton's University, Cambridge. In it, Newton published a second preface and included significant additions, especially the chapters concerning lunar and comet theory. The last highlight from our first session is a three-volume first edition of Richard F. Burton's personal narrative of a pilgrimage to El Medina and Mecca, published in London in 1855 and 1856. It is Lot 36270 and includes folding lithographic plans, lithographic frontispieces, and numerous tinted lithographic plates. This is one in a nearly complete run of Burton first editions to be found in this auction. Now, the following lots will sell in session two of our auction, beginning at 5 p.m. Pacific time, Thursday, October 14th. We have an amazing assortment of children's and illustrated books in this auction, a good number from the estate of John McLaughlin, including lot 36327, a signed limited edition of Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island. This is number 29 of only 50 copies signed by the illustrator, Edmund Dulock, and one of the rarer limited editions from this illustrator. Chief among this offering of signed limited editions of illustrated classics is lot 36354, Kai Nielsen's East of the Sun, West of the Moon in the original vellum binding. It is number 46 of 500 edition deluxe copies signed by Nielsen and rare in the original binding. One of the plates from this title can be seen on the front cover of our printed catalog. For unique items from legendary illustrator Arthur Rackham, look no further than lots 36379 and 36382. Both of these lots have an original Rackham drawing inside. In lot 36379, a signed limited edition of the Inglesby Legends, Rackham has drawn a scene from the Brothers of Birchington, one of the stories in the book, with two large detailed figures and a background in color. In Lot 36382, a signed limited edition of James Stevens' Irish Fairy Tales, Rackham has drawn an ink and watercolor caricature of himself in traditional Irish dress with a clay pipe and shillelagh, conversing with an unwrapped crow perched on a tree branch. Both original drawings are signed by Rackham at the bottom right. In addition to the fine illustrated books in this auction, we also have a marvelous selection of first editions of major literary works. Headlining the literature section is a selection of all six major works offered individually by beloved English author Jane Austen, all bound in full light brown crushed Levant Morocco by Riviere and Son. The book we have here is Lot 36473, a first edition of perhaps Austen's most cherished work, Pride and Prejudice, published by T. Edgerton in 1813. Also among the Austen first editions in this auction is Sense and Sensibility, Lot 36474, currently on display in our New York office at Park and 57th. Charles Dickens is not to be outdone by Miss Austen, his British literary foremother. Lot 36490 is a rare first edition first printing of Dickens' classic A Christmas Carol from Dickens' own library at Gads Hill. The book has both Dickens' book plate and the Gads Hill Place library book plate affixed to the front paste down and is surely among the rarer examples of this seminal work to be found anywhere. And finally, we bring the literature highlights to the 20th century and present Lot 36506, a uniquely inscribed copy of Ernest Hemingway's For Whom the Bell Tolls, 
affectionately inscribed and signed by Hemingway to his good friend Charles Sweeney, and reading, For Charlie, with the same affection and the same admiration as always, Ernest. Sweeney was a soldier of fortune who participated in seven wars for five countries and was a military role model for Hemingway. The two met in 1922 and remained friends for life, with Sweeney serving as an honorary pallbearer at the great author's funeral. In addition to the highlights seen here, we also encourage you to look at sessions three and four of the current auction, where you will find approximately 2,600 lots of completely unreserved material from all of the categories represented here and more with a large number of signed modern fiction in session four. We look forward to seeing you in Beverly Hills on October 14th, hearing from you on the phones or having you participate on Heritage Live. If you have any questions about the lots we've shown you today or any other books in this auction, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.